Sure, I'd probably ask some people in the chat what they thought. Aside from what I thought. There's a lot of indie titles there. I don't know which one I would even go for and play myself. What was that one game? I forgot what it was called. Shoot, I forgot what the name of it was. Damn it. I faintly remember what I'm even trying to talk about right now. There was just so many of them. They said 60 games. There were 60 games. Like, so what are we going to see at Square Enix? I remember hearing something about Final Fantasy. The newer Final Fantasy game or something at Square Enix. Or was that just Sony? Because, well, they said Sony doesn't have any three this year. But they said they're still doing a little something. Or how is it they're doing something for E3 when the, even though they're not having a press conference here? Yeah. Don't know, but it's only 7.24 right now. Gosh, it's only been like two minutes since I was just starting talking here. Like, we have to wait. Wait for the next showcase to start. Press conference. This right here, Square Enix. After just watching... You know, this, which was funny. Seeing the guy who makes uh, Psychonauts 2 sit there. No one's firing actual stitches. Let's get to the games. Like, shot! <laughs> My god. I was like, what the heck? What? Jeez. Right into my headphones. <laughs> oh my god, the whole part to the, to the press conference was funny. Yeah. Mm hmm. 25 minutes? Kind of wish it was already 8, eight o'clock. It's only like 30 minutes until Square Enix. Is there a place where I can look and see where it's, when it starts? So after Square Enix, that's it. But I can also, like I said before, I was going to try and go back and see, actually see this because I didn't really see it. But I kind of, I don't know, I have, I have too much trouble trying to say what I'm trying to say about that other press conference. But I did say a bit about that earlier as I got back from my break. So this is kind of like a part two from my earlier, like, reaction stream I did earlier today before this one. <laughs> yeah. Something about going back to seeing another fresh conference that I didn't really see much of. Only saw bits and parts of it. I arrived kind of late to see it. That was only the first one, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, like I said, I can always see that at the end of Square Enix if I want to. Because I didn't see much of it, so yeah. That's what I would do. Mm-hmm. No, this is over. It's just waiting for Square Enix. At 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, right? Yep, I have a lot of times open. Yep, 9, 6 p.m. PT, 9 p.m. ET, 2 a.m. BST, 11 a.m. AET, AET. So this kind of happens worldwide in some locations. I guess the industry is even at until then 9 a.m. So for me, it's 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, but that's E to 8, not for 9 if you're an hour ahead. If you're an hour behind, it's Central. 8 o'clock. Kind of funny games. Just waiting and talking here. Wish I had more to actually say. Yeah, it's like 20, okay, 30, 40, 50. It's like 60 minutes. Is it 60 minutes? 60 or 50 minutes until 8 o'clock? Just for Square Enix? And then I'll try, try to rewatch something I didn't really see earlier. Because I, I like to see all the press conferences. That's what I like doing. Mm-hmm. 
É, pode ser news. So, yeah, that's what I said earlier. I know Dev Gamer likes uh, retro games, indie games, and that press conference had a lot of them. It's like they had one last year. I didn't even know that press conference that I just watched even had one. This one kind of funny games. I didn't even know if that one actually had a press conference last year. Didn't really see it, I guess, or I guess I don't remember seeing it. It's like there's so many, it's hard to find or catch them all. Like, for example, I didn't even know, uh, I didn't even know about, well, I knew about the Google Stadia. I said it right. Google Stadia. This one right here. Stadia. Google Stadia. I didn't know, well, I knew about it. But I didn't know when there was going to be a press con conference for it. With that. See, there's kind of funny games right there again. Oops, sorry, no. Hold on. Yeah, I didn't know about when that was going to happen or start. So I didn't know it was on June 6th. Hey! Thanks for the follow! Trunk oh. Monster X! <laughs> Thanks for following Trunk Monster X! Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for following, dude. Uh, what did you think of that press conference I just we just watched? If you were here watching it earlier, the kind of funny games. That's what it's called, kind of funny games. It was weird, kind of funny. It's like, what the heck is up with that game where you throw buckets of ramen at each other? Silly. A bird skateboarding? What the heck? That was funny. It was really funny. I think I played a game. There's one of those kind of games I played on Dev Gamer stream. Yeah, Dev Gamer likes retro games. I see some games that were inspired by other retro games, like one that looked kind of like that reminded me of Skyrim. I'm so happy NPCs are coming to Fallout 76. Yeah, I know I've been hearing about that. NPCs. NPCs coming to Fallout 6. Now, I'll be honest with you, I have, yet, I have yet to play that game, and it's like, part of me wanted to play a game, but there was already a game at the time. It's like, one of those things where there are so many games that you want to try and play, or do, but you can, can never find the time to get around to. It's like, there's just so many games. Yeah, you can only get to just... Like, there are so many games out there in the world, and you can only get to just so many. You know, it's not like there's a single person in the world who's played every single video game that's ever existed. You know what I mean? You can only play like, it almost feels like you can only play like a handful in your life. But I'm sure I'll get around to that game sometime. Like, yeah, I, I myself have wanted to actually try that game and see it for myself. Fallout 76. Yeah, with the, they're now put NPCs. Yeah, they, they didn't have NPCs, but now they do. I heard something of that when Dev Gamer was talking about his thoughts on it and such. Yeah, I know a lot of back, like a lot of people weren't happy with that game. I guess some people are, but it seems like a huge amount didn't. Yeah, it's like there's always something where some people are going to like it and some people are not going to like it. There's always that kind of thing with a lot of people. Some people are complaining, some people are complaining. I kind of feel like I'm just one of those very few people, aside from the majority. It's like, while the majority of people are complaining, I feel like I'm one of those people that aren't really complaining at all. And like, okay. Mm, a lot of times. It was, yeah, I know. I understand. That's why I hear a lot of people saying, I'm like, well, I haven't played myself, so I don't know what, how much of that ass it's like. You know what I mean? Yeah, everybody has their own experience with things and how they interpret something from their own experience. You know, from one perspective, viewing something from how another person feels about something from their perspective. A lot of times I feel like I'm just, I don't know, I guess I'm just easy or something. And I'm not like as disappointed like as most people are. 
or something, I guess. I guess that's one way of putting it. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yes, I did see that this stuff. I'm just not sure what to say about it. No. Yeah, NPCs with the. What do, they, what do they call it? Dialogue tree, right? Yeah, dialogue tree. I remember what it's called, dialogue tree. It's like, see, I didn't know, I didn't know there was no NPCs in it before, because I never actually played it myself yet. And now, yes, of course, they're adding a battle royale to it. <laughs> huh, of course they're adding a battle royale to it. Wait, what time is it? Wow, time flew by. Oh, nope. Never mind. I thought it was 7.53 already. It's only 7.33. Yeah, and it's like, wait, what was I saying? Dang it, I forgot what I was trying to say. It just slipped my mind. Dang it, just as I tried to see what time it was. I know, was I talking about something to NPCs? Yeah, I was. I dang it, wish I knew, I can remember what I was talking about. I was talking something about, yeah, I know, something about Fallout. That is the hmm. Yeah, it just slipped my mind. Do you remember what I was saying? Dang it! Why don't I do that? As I was trying to see what time it was, I could have just kept going instead of interrupting myself like that. Huh. I hate when I when I'm trying to say something that slips my mind. Now I can't remember what I was talking about. Darn. Hmm. Yeah, I know it had something to do with that. This the yeah, creativity is hard. Any form of creativity is hard. It's hard to create something. It takes years. Like, you know how many years it took them to create Toy Story? It took them like around fifteen years to animate and create Toy Story. Yeah, animation is one of the hardest forms of creativity. I wouldn't know that even myself, because I've tried creating a few animations when I was in college. Or a few classes on stuff like that. For animation. Yeah, I've been going to, I've been going to college for things like animation and game design and such, because I want to try and get into game developing myself. Even though, of course, Dev Gamer is a game developer himself. I'm trying to, like, yeah, I'm trying to get, like, a gaming degree and all that. So I can do some of that myself someday. Well, of course, I can always start now, but don't have that as that much experience yet to create one. Like I've created with, I've done, I've used Unreal Engine before or Unity. Hey there, hi Frag. I'm trying to read your name here, Fraggle Voice. I say that right? Hi hey, Fraggle Voice. What's up? Thanks for stopping by. Huh. Ah, follow. All right. Thanks for the follow, Fraggle Frog. God, I hate when I mess up on people's freaking screen names. <laughs> yeah, Fraggle Voice. Did I seriously say Fraggle Rock? I mean, Fraggle Frog. Fraggle Rock, isn't that old too? So, your name is Fra No, what the heck? It's Fragile Voice. So sorry. Yes, thanks for the follow, Fragile Voice. God, I have a hard time reading people's names on my screen. And it's not that, like, hard to read. It's just me. So, but thanks again, dude. How's it going? Thanks for following. How's your E3 going so far? How's the press conference for you? Good? Yeah, I guess a lot of press conferences today have been okay, you know? For a lot of people, I guess they've just been okay. To me, they've been okay. I saw a little bit of the first one, but I didn't see much of the first one. So I want to go back and rewatch the PC game and so because I didn't really see it. Only bits and parts of it. I didn't actually really see that show. Mm hmm. Yeah, God, I feel like I'm just going from one topic to another. <laughs> that happens when I talk about something. Okay, it's 7 37 p.m., it's not even 8 o'clock yet. I guess it's just me talking here about this until it actually start. I wish it was 8 o'clock already. Because I finished watching this, which was only an hour. 
kind of wish that was like an hour and a few minutes before this would actually be in. That way there wouldn't be such a huge wait again here. Like I already came back from a break when I was streaming before, and this is like a second part to my previous stream earlier today when I was watching just these two right here. I didn't really see this one. Because I wanted to see it from the beginning, so I very, didn't really see much of this one. So, yeah, I only saw mostly these two. This one kind of ended a bit oddly to me. This one was funny. This one was also kind of funny too, actually. Yeah, I was like, what the heck? Well, they made a joke about the audience and such in this one. Huh, if you saw that one, you probably know what I'm talking about. Limited run games. They're both, these both are like indie retro uh, press conferences. Both of these have a bunch of, both of these press conferences, showcasings, had a bunch of like, there were just a bunch of indie and uh, old classic like retro games. And in from, from limited run games, they were basically releasing physical, it's showing a bunch of games that were getting physical releases. Like a physical copy of an old like arc retro game or indie game or get physical copies. It's like, huh? I guess a lot of a lot of retro games and hey, Tubon, was that? Do I say it right? God, Tubon, right? <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Thanks for following. Tubon, hopefully. Yes, it's Tubon, right? Yes, Tubon? God, yes, it's Tubon. Right, god dang it. Thanks for following. Me and my eyes today. So, thanks for following. Just waiting here. Yeah! <laughs> you guys doing okay with me just in here talking about what I think about this test press conferences? Yeah. That seems like it, because I don't want to bore anyone here. I'm trying to do something here while we wait till it's 8 o'clock, because I wish it was 8 o'clock already. Yeah. And then after I finish watching the one I can't believe I missed, but no, it's like, I woke up at 9 o'clock. I said this a few times in my stream already, but for those who didn't hear me say before, I'll probably say it again. So I woke up like around 9 something in the morning, and all of a sudden, for some odd reason, I fell back asleep, and as I woke up, it was like a bit after noon, and it was already almost 1 o'clock. I was like, oh shoot, oh no, like this was our, this had already started, it was already going on. I see it says 1 p.m. ET. For my time, it was, it was noon, noon Central Standard Time. But if you're in Eastern time, do 1 o'clock p.m. Hey! Oh, to oh, Yeah! Look, woohoo! Like a peace sign, huh? Yeah, thanks for following. Paddy Wood! God, I have a hard time. That's just me and my eyes. I'm trying to read it. Sorry for anyone if I mispronounce your, your, your usernames, aliases, hate when I do that. Like, yes, thank you, can do it for the follow. I don't know, I feel like I keep forgetting what I'm saying. <laughs> when all these follows come up. But no, yes, my own uh, alert is kind of distracting. That's just my alert, because I like... That's just a little gag I started doing close to my first ever stream. Like, the first time I ever started streaming was back in 2000, was it? It was 2017, right? Yes, I started streaming in 2017. Oh yeah, if it was 2018 and not two, no, there's no way it was in 2018. Actually, if you scroll down, if you're on Mixer, or if you're, say if you're watching me on Mixer or if you're watching me on Twitch, whichever platform you were watching me on, I know you're watching me from Mixer, you can scroll down and can see what year I started streaming. That's the year I started streaming. It was the, the week before E3 of that year. And oddly enough, you could say this is like my anniversary of streaming again or something. Yeah, this week. The week before this week was the week I started streaming. That was my first, first, the first day I ever streamed. Like my first ever stream. That was, that was like in 2017, I think. You're Brazilian. Ah, hi, well, welcome to my stream, Brazilian. <laughs> nice. 
You're Brazil. All right, dude. Yeah, I see so many different kinds of people. Uh, I think I've seen someone who's from German one time when I was playing Sea of Thieves one time. Yeah, someone was from German when they came to my stream. I was like, oh, how about that? Yeah, it's interesting to find so many different people from possibly almost all over the world who find you on when you're streaming. I'm like, how about that? Is this? Yeah, this is my real face. Ah, oh, there's no, there's nothing wrong with asking. Completely okay. Boom. Ah! What are you talking about? They're like, boom! Ah! That window's not in the freaking chat. Don't know what you're getting at when saying that, but jeez. Oh, God. What happened here? Oh, what happened? No, oh, this is my, uh, this is the way I look. I was born this way. It's, it's basically a mutation. It's like a genetic disorder, cranial facial. They call it treacher Collins syndrome. That's what it's called. But yeah, that's what I was born with. I don't know how I would say it. It'd probably go into a long story about it, but long story short, yeah, I pretty much already said what it was. It's like, you know, no cheekbones, deformed ears. They can't hear through my ears. So I have bone conductive headphones, and that's why I have, head, I have the headband on. The reason I'm wearing a headband, because these right here, so you can see where they would sit on your head. That's where your ear is supposed to go. Your ear goes right here. This does not go inside your ear. Your ear is supposed to go right here. And as you put this loop, you loop it around your ears. But since my ears are deformed, there's no place for these to sit on my head. It'll just fall right off my head like that. See? That's my deformed ears. So I, I use the headphone. I use the headband to keep these headphones from falling off my head. Because they're bone conductive. I hear through bone conduction. These are bone conductive headphones. People usually use these like when they're probably like when they're working out, jogging outside or something. But man, or you can use them when you're talking to someone on the phone. Ways you'd use these headphones. But yeah, I just use these headphones on my computer. Yeah, you can use these headphones for writing things. Like there is a microphone in these headphones, but I use this microphone instead because it has better quality than the quality of you get from the microphone in my headphones, which is yeah, not very good. It's probably only good for quality if you're talking to someone on the phone. And it's not the very good it's not the good kind of quality that's for like streaming. That's why I use this microphone instead of the microphone inside my headphones. What is the E three? E three it's it stands for Electronic Entertainment Expo. Three E's Electronic Entertainment Expo. It is the video game industry where we have a bunch of press conferences from a bunch of different video game companies all come together. Like the three, the, the big three, you know, Nintendo, Microsoft, Sony, and a bunch of other press conference uh, video game companies. They all come to this event that happens once a year. It's, it's like the Super Bowl for video games. Yeah, I fell off my bed. Boom. Oh my god. Boom. Ah! You fell off your bed. That's terrible. Oh no. Yeah, be careful over there. Dude, why'd you fall off your bed? Be careful. Yeah, as I was saying about E3, it's a, yeah, it's a big event that happens once a year every month of June. Where they showcase future release games or video game companies in the video game industry and all get together in this event to showcase, you know, have press conference about their future release games. That's basically what it is, yeah. I could look it up if I didn't say enough information for you. Ah, thanks for following! Thanks for the follow! What's that? I'm trying to read your name here. Sorry, it's just my own screen. It's just my own eyes here. Nachi Sai? Did I say that right? Nachi Sai. Thanks for the follow, dude. God, I have a hard time reading screen names. That's just me. Please forgive me if I mispronounced your screen name. Don't need to do that. Jumped off my bed. What are you doing, man? Why are you jumping off your bed? Are you, like, really excited or something? What's with you, man? <laughs> you keep jumping off your bed and everything. Dude, stay on the... Oh, you must be excited. What are you excited for? Square Enix? You excited for the Square Unix press conference? That starts next. 
And it's almost 8 o'clock, it's 7.48 p.m. Oh, so I guess you are in New York side for Square Enix, because that comes up next. Then tomorrow it's Nintendo. That's, that always seems like the press conference I always personally seem like I'm excited for every year of E3. Other than that, I still feel excited for just seeing every press conference there is, because I personally like to check out every single press conference that there is at E3. Even if I'm not going to be playing some of those games myself, I still like to check out what they have, because it's just fun to, you know, see what they throw out there. You just don't know what to expect. You never know what to expect until they show it. That's the thing about E3, and that's what's so fun about watching the press conferences at E3 before, before they open up the, the floors of the three-day event of E3, which happens on the 11th, 12th, and 13th, the three days where people are able to go down the show, on the floor and whatever they call it and actually be able to play the games that they showcased at the preference. If you're actually there in person in LA, Los Angeles, your dad is ranting at me. You stopped. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Don't know what to say about that. But all right. <clears throat> yep, we're about to begin. Seven. Almost eight o'clock. Yeah, I'm just talking here. All that random stuff before I actually begin at eight o'clock. Because I didn't want to just stop the stream and then restart it again. Like, I already did that earlier. And then it's like, what? Would I have three parts to this stream? This stream only has been going on for only an hour. An hour and 22 minutes. And there's a lot of breaks in between these uh, press conferences, apparently. It seems like there's been a few breaks. I was hoping by the time this... This one I just finished watching, kind of funny games. I was hoping by the time that one was over, it would already be close to when Square Enix was going to be in. But I guess not. Nope. Square Enix is not close to being here yet. But it looks like it's already close to being here yet now. So we're still waiting until Square Enix begins. Yep, 8 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. That's right. It's also 9 o'clock p.m. Depending on where you are in the world, it's 6 p.m. Pacific Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 2 a.m. BST, don't know what that stands for, sorry, 11 a.m. AET, because I've never really seen BST or a AET. That seems rare as I don't see those. Not sure where exactly in the part of the world that's, because it's kind of worldwide almost, if not. If it is worldwide, if not, for where they broadcast E3 from LA. So it's all on June 11th. No, that's on June 11th if you're at, at this time zone, 11 a.m. AET, then it's tomorrow for those who are at that time zone. Yeah, th Thunder Bay. Thunder Bay? You said Thunder Bay. Did I say Thunder Bay or something? Your buddy's from there. Oh, your buddy's from here? That stands for Thunder Bay? I have no idea. I'm just confused at what you're saying here. But yeah, it's at 8 o'clock p.m. for me, Central Standard Time. Unless you're Eastern Time, it's 9 p.m. for you. Because you're one hour ahead of me, so it's 8 o'clock p.m. And hey, look at that. It's almost 9 o'clock. You know, see? Like an open up here. 9.52. It says 952, yes, yeah, the calendar. This week right here is when the, everyone who's actually there in person gets to play the games if there's any demos of them available. You know, first, you know, get your, like, first, you know, how, what am I trying to say here? Like, first hands doesn't make any sense. We get your hands on, like, for the first time of seeing games that have yet to be released yet. They're just demos. Like, yeah, you get to play them for these three days of E3, and then this is the last day, and then E3 is over. Yep. Hey! Hey, thanks for the 
Thanks for the follow. Look, 169. God, I gotta, gotta have some way of knowing who followed. <laughs> oh, forget it. Yeah, thanks again for following 169. I don't know, forgot what to call that slash thing. I don't know if people don't call it slash. Slash exclamation mark. Right. I'll just say 169. Thanks for following, dude. Hmm. Yep. He said they, they, oh, T-Day is all, what? What are you trying to say? You said they is t what? I'm trying to, sorry, dude. Trying to make out what you're saying here in the chat. Chat, you need to go? All right. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Hmm. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by my stream. See you later, if not, what? I'll see you whenever. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, Fragile Voice. You have a nice day. Or afternoon. Yeah. Oh. But hey, I thought you wanted to see it Square Enix, but you gotta go. Ah. You'll see it when we get back. 